Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So there it is. About an hour ago, we saw a release of Golden Hen 2.4 E18.2, as I posted over here on Twitter. And if we go over to the Ko-Fi page, we can see that there is some information of what is included. And it states here, Hi all, the new beta is out. Sorry for the wait, but as always in my free time, I continue to work on Gold Hen to improve it and add new features useful to everyone. Thanks to my friends, CTN and Chameleon, for their continuous support, not only technical, and to those that supported. So in 2.4b18.2, added PPOE patch to avoid multiple exploitations, and then package scanning improvements, added support for excluding folders during package scanning, folders starting with a dot, so something like dot test, and those containing a dot ignore file will automatically be skipped. If you want a little bit more information about this right here, it basically came from this suggestion here, it was opened as a GitHub issue on October the 3rd. And basically what they were looking for was they had an external hard drive with a lot of folders and files. And that when Gold Hen is searching for those packages, it takes a very long time. And so they had a suggestion there of what could be implemented. And what we saw, what was implemented was this just right here. So again, they are taking note of what you put into the issues over here. Now, one thing I did notice was, was that over on the official Gold Hen page here, they have not updated and put the new beta to. So again, if you do need this, you will need to go to the Ko-Fi page, as will be linked in the description below. And then you can just put free if you don't want to pay anything for it. But I would highly suggest donating. To them. Let's go ahead and jump over to the PlayStation 4 and see what was included. Okay, so I'm just using one of my ESP devices to load the latest and greatest Gold Hen 2.4B 18.2. Now, by the time that you're probably watching this, you can go to sites like ES7and1.site and a bunch of other hosts that'll already have the new files updated. I tend to like to play with it before it hits those sites. So again, I just have a local version. Now, if you do want to set yours up just like this, I do have a video where I show you how I created this. Anyway, it looks like Gold Hen has now been loaded here. So we can see right up at the bat here, we've got our Gold Hen logo. The first thing that we're going to go to is going to be settings. And we're going to take a look at this feature, which is called Enable PPPoE Patch. So by turning this on, this prevents the console from being exploited again via PPPawn, which could cause instability. So I've went ahead and I've placed a check mark in this one. And I'll do a couple of tests offline to see how well that that works. But that is one of the features that is included in this release. Okay, and for the package scanning improvements feature here, I've went ahead and plugged in a USB drive here, and I have put one PKG just in the root folder, which it should absolutely see. Now, in order to test this, we're going to create a folder starting with a dot. So I'm just going to come over here to go new folder and I'm going to go dot Michael. And then inside of that folder, I'm going to just paste a couple of PKGs that I have. This is for the game called Minecraft. Now, while that is finishing up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a, another folder. And this one's just going to be called scan and inside of this, we're going to test the second condition here, where those containing a .ignore file will automatically be skipped. So we're going to go new, 
and we're going to go to a text document and we're going to just name this dot ignore and then remove everything else and from here I'm going to go ahead and paste in those same PKGs again. Now while that is copying over I'm going to go back to the dot Michael folder and I'll just give these a name that we can remember and I'll just put a one in front of this this one and then for the scan folder two okay so now if we plug that in there we now should automatically ignore these two folders right here and only just see this one raspberry cube let's give it a shot Okay, so on the gold hen menu here, we're going to go to debug settings and our source is set to USB here and we do need to turn on enable search subdirectory so it can find those other files. And we are also going to go ahead and turn on show package information in show package path. Okay, so from here, let's go back up to package installer and right there it is. That is the only one that it found. So we do know now that that feature, which was called package scanning improvements, is working properly over here on my PlayStation 4. Well, anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching over the year. Merry Christmas or Happy Holiday to you. Again, I really appreciate your viewership over the year. It's meant so much to me having all of you around. All right, well, I will see you on the next one. Michael, out!